I come from a big family of seven brothers. Breakfast was not something we could get. Communities all are struggling without water. So you go to school, sit in the classroom, you cannot listen to a teacher. So everything just, you're just there. I thought, how can people find a way to feed, have enough to eat? How can people find a, a, enough to share like water? How could people just live in harmony together? So education was the only tool like, which can help me. But since my family is big, there's no money to support all of us to school. So the only job I could do at that time was just to help in the construction. I thought my hope of trying to change something, to study or something disappeared. By good chance, I just found a priest. So he was concerned about my life. I'm young, what are you doing on the construction site? And decided to support me to a high school. So I studied and when I finished, the first thing I remember my dream to work on this issue, basic needs, food, water, energy, community living. And I started working with the communities on growing food in the slums. I come from a slum. I studied in Kenya organic farming. Nowadays we have a problem with the many diseases that are arising in our community because of the food that we eat. A lot of chemicals that are used in our food also. Because nowadays we are living in a world where we eat what we don't produce and we produce what we don't eat. We are trying to revitalize our old ways of growing food. For the last uh, five years, Otepic has been planting trees. And all the trees that we plant must have a benefit of either fruit trees for nutrition or either trees that produce medicine. Not only through farming of food, but also sharing local technical knowledge on herbal medicine. Different tribes know different medicine. So through this, by sharing also, they develop friendship and peace and stability in the region. People have uh, less amount of water, and this brings a lot of competition, a lot of conflict. So Otepic as a project, we managed to drill two boreholes that we give more than 3,000 people with clean drinking water for free. We are also working with the different communities to also make retention landscape, making lakes, ponds, so that we can slow all the movement of water, spread it, make it sink to recharge the aquifer system, so that as long as they keep on taking water from the, uh, from the borehole, but also they can collect all the rain that falls on the land. It's a lot of work, but we just try to also share. You know, they say a family that eats together, stay together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>